<laughs> all right, so I'm live, I'm live, I'm live. All right, so big up. We're good. We're again, we're again, we're again, we're again. We're back again, back again, back again, back again. Uh, as Troop would say, back again. Big up, people. Thank you very much. The camera is working. The microphone is working. You guys are seeing me. You guys are hearing me. And also, you guys are here, which is a big deal. So, guys, I am this close to reaching 8,000 subscribers. 8,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm really, really wondering if I can reach 10,000 subscribers before the year end. I'm wondering, is it possible for me to reach 10,000 subscribers before the year end? I know for a fact that my socials, like my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram have grown massively um, throughout this year. Massively. Regular content, regular uploading. Um, most of the stuff on my, on my socials going viral retweets a lot of retweets and also on instagram a lot of like a lot of sharing so that is good but guess what guess what's not what's happening none of that is happening on, on my youtube channel <laughs> it's barely creeping barely creeping so a lot of you guys are watching but still afraid to hit the subscribe button and i will totally appreciate guys do you know how big of a deal it is for you to, to hit that subscribe button it's a massive deal it is a massive massive deal so do me the favor and do it Let's grow the Jamaican platform. People who are Jamaicans, let's grow our Jamaican platform. There's so much, you know, much guys, Jamaicans um, subscribe to American platforms, also to platforms in England. But we're not supporting each other. We're not supporting our own. We're not supporting our own. And I don't know that Monday I do a thing. Look how Tapa gets support. Look how they support Tapa, say Tapa go on them my food. Look how JFF support Tapa. Look how much local man support Tapa. Say, Tapa, go on them and food, Tapa. Go on them and food. <laughs> they not support we. The Jamaicans, they not support we for some reason. But anyways, I understand because the truth and the fact is that in football, everyone wants to be a part of a winning project. Everyone wants to be a part of a winning project. And at this point in time, it's not a winning project. So you, can you imagine? I, I do contents on Reggae Boys and Arsenal. Horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible, totally horrible. So that's how it is. As Gonna Forever said, Reggae Boys product is not um, interesting. I do Arsenal content as well. And definitely, it's disappointment anywhere we turn. <laughs> Total disappointment. Big up everyone who's coming in. Anthony Evelyn, Fresh God, a lot of respect. Brother, gladly, ladies, definitely thank you for coming in. Um, Anthony Evelyn, big up MG. Fresh God, massive respect. Rapid growth of the channel, 7.89K. Big up, continue to support the Military Guna TV. As always, continue to subscribe, people, and also share and hit the like button. Yeah, like a, like a, like a robot. So we're going to speak about a player today. I've been lamenting on long enough. We're going to speak about a particular player. Kemar Taxilaris, people. Now, it intrigues me how we really look past Kemar Taxilaris but yet still on every single match day, Kemar Taxi-Lawrence is one of the first names on the team sheet. One of. Now, Ke La Taxi is a particular player that we can say that is really, really competent. Extremely competent. Extremely competent in regards to being present, fitness, Delivering. No, I see a lot of people are talking about other players making excuse for other players. But this player is one player that I've never heard anyone made an excuse for. Because I believe that he is Mr. Reliable. He is Mr. Reliable. He has so much tools in his bag. Dead ball specialist. Set piece specialist. Um... Crosses. He do, he, despite it, he doesn't really cross often, but he has so much tools in his locker. So much tools. So, and it's quite intriguing the type of person he is, he is individually. Off the pitch. Now, if you should look at, look at players and you should hear reports coming out, there are so much players that you can identify and say, this man is causing problem. This man is doing that. But Kemar Tux Lawrence is one player that you can hardly hear anything negative 
or any controversial topics or opinions coming out about. You can never hear that. It's always present. It's always present. No, people, this won't be a long stream. <laughs> yeah, this is this this will be a long stream. I'm gonna say that. Maybe 15, 20 minutes maximum. Yeah. No, I'm gonna have a look at um tax Lawrence over the time period. I'm gonna look at tax Lawrence over the time period. I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna show you guys something. No, for the past 30 games. So these 30 games comprise of Kemar Tax Lawrence um, performance at um, Toronto FC. Every now and then, like every other player, like every other player, I would say, he would drop a stinker. <laughs> he would drop a stinker. And I believe that that's just a norm in the world of football, like every other day. But in the Jamaican colours, I can't remember when last I have seen Kemar Tax Lawrence dropping a stinker. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a small review. Just a small review of this World Cup Qualifiers campaign of Kemar Tax Lawrence. Small review. Just give you guys some insight of the World Cup Qualifiers campaign. Now, I'm going to take notes while I'm, I'm doing it, people. <laughs> I'm going to take notes. So let's go. Let's look at his performance. So this is Kemar Tax Lawrence's performance against Mexico. This is Tax Lawrence against Mexico. Come on, people. Massive respect. Thank you guys for coming in. Wonun is in the house. Let me run through some more. Um, big up Wonun. Said big up military guna. I know you have a couple new videos and we'll watch them soon. No problem, bro. Um, take your time. You are very, very busy. <laughs> you are always on streams, bro. No problem. Big up Shane Rodney. Gonna forever say that. Hard with Arsenal AFTs where most people look, but um, go and do the work. Massive respect, bro. I will definitely do continue to do the work. That's just a part of it. That's just me. Um, I love it, so I have no problem doing it. Um, Roger Sharp said, up military, more blessings. Your thing will grow, General. Give it time. Definitely, bro. I am cool as a cucumber. Um, I can clearly remember my days of streaming with like two persons on and i'll do like i'll do like a two or three two hour streams i'll stream i'll stream like even three times for the day with only three persons watching um let me, let me tell you guys one of the, my consistent so barnet barnet is one of my most consistent um subscriber this guy has been here from day one <laughs> fresh god big up like up the live as you enter share up the live with your friends and family invite them to join the military guna tv Thanks for the continued support. Massive respect, Fresh God. And as you know, Fresh God, one of our moderators doing moderating work. <laughs> doing moderating work. And it's a slow night. No, I'll be doing my preview tomorrow, guys. I will be doing my preview tomorrow, guys. I'll be doing my preview tomorrow, guys, so you can look out for that one. And that one will be early in the morning, actually. Let me run through so um team over the, the, um drive into entertainment said we're gonna make it to the world cup man i would love for that to happen bro <laughs> true he has some poor performance over the years but most of the time he delivers when called upon Aaron errol garden said i really don't know what to say about the game is like playing primary school football the game was poor jamaica play like they don't know the game yeah definitely um, so Sosa said, um, up military world class pundit in two years. Um, in two years, in two years, Sosa better believe it. No, you have some massive, some huge platforms. I'm talking about with hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers, they are watching my channel. And I know for a fact, <laughs> I got the information, they are watching my channel. Members of the same JFF is watching my channel, so definitely. And I'm not work class as yet. <laughs> I'm not work class as yet. Um, El Madrid reggae boy, big up, bro, big up, massive respect. No, uh, let me let me you know, I'm gonna drop the link. I'm gonna drop the link. I'm gonna drop the link. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the link. Definitely, I'm gonna drop the link. Makes no sense. People, smash the like button, people, smash the like button. 
Um, formerly my spin on the ball, now El Madrid. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to Taxi Lawrence, people. Let's get back to Taxi Lawrence. He's the sole reason why we're here. This video is like a, a non, uh, yeah, I almost messed up that. <laughs> this video is just a, a video out of the blues. Now we're going to analyze Taxi Lara's performance against Mexico. We know in that game that we didn't have much possession, but Taxi Lawrence still came out with a 7.0 average match ratings, which is quite high, which is quite high. No, he did some he did some some of the basic stuff um, correctly, and he also did some some stuff that can actually impact the game. For example, normal the basic stuff touches clearances, um, significant eight, um, tackles, dribble pass zero, ground dues he won hundred percent, aerial dues he won also hundred percent with that, and only lost the ball nine times. He was fouled also one. He didn't commit any fouls throughout the entire game. It could be a fact that he was just not couldn't get close to any player. Um, passing accuracy 65%, which is quite low, but he made one key pass. He attempted three crosses, two was completed, three long balls, one was completed. And this, my friend, was against Mexico. That was the first game in the World Cup qualifiers. That was the first game in the World Cup qualifiers. What am I? What's happening? Why am I? What is, why is this not showing? That was the first game in the World Cup qualifiers, people. Now, let's drop back into the next few games. In the in 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 the um the the Panama game, he didn't have such a good game in the Panama game, and we all know that. But there is one key factor we should highlight. One key factor we should highlight. I'm brother, I'm glad he's coming on, but it's not working. It's not, it's not, I'm not seeing the same device not connected. There's a few key factors that we should consider. Um, Taxi Lawrence, when they went to Panama, I'm not sure if most of you guys remember that. Was it Panama, right? Um, the first game was against Mexico. Yes, so then they went to Panama. They, they, they came up to Jamaica to play Panama. No, Taxi Lawrence in the Panama game, they made a, a almost a complete overall. We saw um Taxi Lawrence coming back into the team. We also saw um Andre Blake, but Taxi Lawrence, an old field player, played a full 90 in the Mexico game in a rigid game. No, moved to the Panama game, he also played a full 90 again. With an average rating of 6.0. With an average average rating of 6.0. So not that most impressive performance because the team in general did not play the best football overall. So it's not a one-off basis. Um are no problem, um, brother um gladly. No problem. I see it, it's saying that um device is not connected. That's what it's saying. No problem. Sorry about that, bro. Ooh. So I'm um, definitely <laughs> so <laughs> sorry about that, bro. I just saw something. So so that's literally um, that's 180 minutes already of football. Now let us move away from that game to the Costa Rica game, where we average an eight point one match ratings the costa rica game the average at 8.1 match ratings um i believe that he was man of the match for us in that game he didn't score the goal boza scored the goal but he was the most influential player in that game now let's look at his his match statistics for that game let's look at his match statistics for that game 90 minutes played one assist Two clearances, four interceptions, one tackle. Two, gro two ground duel, he won one of them. One aerial duel, he won that as well. Last possession, 14 times. He had 66 touch touches. He attempted 41 pass and completed 34 at 83%. He made four key passes in the Costa Rica game. 
four people, four key passes. No, he attempted five cross, three was um, completed. Three was completed. He attempted six long ball, five was completed. He attempted two, he, create, he also created two big chances. So on a number basis, we all know that it was a good game for Kemar Tax Lawrence. But on a, on a figurative, on a figure basis, that was definitely a man of the match performance by numbers. And we all saw what he did in game. We all saw what he did in game. Now, we're talking about 270 minutes of football nonstop. Bear in mind that when he was going to Costa Rica, they didn't have the necessary documents so he had to stay in the airport. He had to stay in the airport at that point in time. So what's that telling me? What is that telling me? This man is unbreakable. This man is unbreakable. Am I seeing a delay? No, it's not. This man is unbreakable. Let's move forward now to what's to this World Cup qualifiers. So he featured against the USA. Not the best um, numbers. Not the best numbers. Um, averaging, um, match average was 6.3. Yeah, 6.3. Key passes, one. He still made a key pass. In literally every game that he played, he, he contributed to a key pass. One cross attempt. He attempted eight long balls completed one. His passing accuracy was 68%. Ground deals, five and he won two of them. Now, we all saw Kemar Tox Lawrence in that USA game. And literally, that game was a game of two halves. So his first half was quite good. Second half, the game, the entire team sit back in a in a tapa like mode. <laughs> you would say in a tapa like mode. <laughs> so at this point, um, let's let's look at um let's look at the, the next aspect of this game, the Canada game. This Canada game is also one of those standout games that he had. One of the standout games that he had, and as you can see, he was also our highest rating player, rated player for the Canada game. But for me personally, I would say Anthony Grant would have done a lot more in regards so, to keep the game um, in, inbound to what, in regards to what Kemar Lawrence does. Um, Anthony Grant also had a very, very high score rating. Kemar Tax Lawrence created three key passes in that game. So over the three game period, or over the, the, the five game period, Kemar Tuxler has contributed to almost eight, eight key passes and six big chances created, which is huge, which is huge, people. If we had people scoring goals, we would have scored a lot of goals just from what Kemar Tax Lawrence is doing. Just from what Kemar Tax Lawrence is doing. So that is the reason why I said Kemar Tax Lawrence is the unspoken hero Kemar Tox Lawrence is the unspoken hero people he's the hero that no one is talking about and he's always present now my problem is this my problem is this are we are we overworking Kemar Tox Lawrence he's a very humble guy you can see from his, his demeanor he's very, very humble Definitely is very, very humble. Most of the game that Kemar Tax Lawrence play is much is, is so far, his ratings, match ratings is all is over six. He tend to be in the same region. Over these set of games, he averages literally about 7.3 over these sets of game. Kemar Tax Lawrence is the unspoken hero. He's always present. And guess the one of the biggest factors in this is. We cannot afford to lose Kemar Tox Lawrence at no point in time. He's the only left back we have available. And if some someone, God forbid, give him a bad tackle <laughs> and he, he picks up an injury, we are done out here. We are done out here. Without a doubt. <laughs> we are done out here. Uh, brother gladly said all you need are some greater red juice or milo <laughs> milo tea <laughs> but definitely so during this during this gold cup campaign so far i would say our our best player on par with shaman nicholson is 
Kemar Taksalar. I think Shamar Nicholson. I think Shamar Nicholson. Um, because of the goal that he scored, yeah, I think he would draw a bit closer to someone who is pivotal to the Gold Cup campaign. But Kemar Taksalar, Kemar Taksalar has been our most pivotal player. One of our most pivotal players. Yesterday, Andre Blake, um, Damian Lowe, very good. But you can see um, issues and errors in his game. But you cannot identify that specifically with tax lines. Going forward is good. Defensively is really, really good. What if we ha if if Alvas Powell was as good as Kemar tax lines, right foot, maybe would have a solid right back. <laughs> Someone who could rely on. Someone who could rely on. <laughs> not not to disrespect Alvas Pulse because you know, but definitely too many er um, errors. You don't see so much errors in Kemar Tax Lawrence game. You don't see much so much errors. Guys, definitely I won't go any further. I told you guys it won't be a long one. So unsound e un unspoken era, Kemar Tax Lawrence. Definitely I'll be speaking about another one, which is Andre Blake. I definitely speaking about him. Andre Blake cannot go under uh, under uh, under 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 the under the, the, the radar. For the last um, Gold Cup campaign, I spoke about one of our most pivotal players, which was Damien Lowe. Now we're talking about <laughs> um, <laughs> Kemar Tax Lawrence. Nathan Morgan said, Military, speaking of hero, you kind of resemble, resemble um, Clark Kent with those glasses on. Pete Brown is far, far away from that. Um, Wing Zero said, um, Hero said, Alvas is good and has room to improve. Big up Alvas. No, man. We have massive respect for Alvas. We have respect for every single player. But we also can be critically correct and, and, and politically correct as well to say that he's not the best right back. He's not the best right back. Definitely, he's not the best right back. And we have seen more than enough. We, <laughs> we have seen more than we have seen more than enough to say that. Um, hey, um, brother Godly, you actually texting in the private chat rather than in the regular chat. <laughs> Shoot a gunner said the black, the black Kent. <laughs> We've well, seen more than enough errors to say that Alvas Paul has a lot of work to do. He has a lot of work to do. When we can look at Kemar Tax Lawrence and say he definitely complements how he plays and how he operates, an unsound hero. Definitely a very, very good and quality player. Now, as you can know, his, his market value is about almost two million pounds. That's quite expensive. <laughs> that is quite expensive. I was purchasing taxi in, a, in in FIFA in my FIFA 2022. And I'm telling you, I paid a big buck for him. <laughs> I paid a big buck for him. But anyways, massive respect to you guys. Definitely. Um, I'll talk about it. Good. Nathan Morgan said Fisher played well last game. Yes, Fisher had a good game. One of Fisher's best performance. And definitely, I'll, I'll be doing a video on that. Massive respect to you guys who's coming in. I know you guys, it's getting late. Um, Ryan LF, LFC will be doing an interview, an exclusive interview with... Um, uh, I, oof. My word, Craig, Craig Butler. With Craig Butler. My word, it slipped me. So guys, you can go... Definitely, I'm going to check that out. It's coming in at 8.30 our time, and I'll be watching that quite soon as well. So, big up, people. Massive respect. Thank you guys for coming in. And definitely, I'll see you guys again. Peace out, people. Big up, big up, big up. Enjoy the rest of your evening tomorrow. I'll be doing a preview tomorrow, people. Massive.